Hey Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out the early stable update of our next stable release, version 125, which for most, including myself, um, we wouldn't have received the update yet uh, because Google only rolls out the early stable update to a limited subset of users, as you may well know, just to test it before it rolls out to the general public um, a week later. So they pushed out the early stable uh, yesterday in my region on the 8th. So I would suggest next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, we will get our upgrade to version 125. Now, just a quick video, if you would be interested, as to go through a couple of possible features that could roll out in version 125 next week. And obviously, this is subject to change and is not a comprehensive list. And first of all, we will get the weekly security updates that will roll out with that version upgrade. So it's too early to say what those will be. And then when it comes to kind of new features, um, there's not too many front-facing features. And that's also due to the shorter release cycle now, which is three to four weeks, where previously it used to be six weeks. And the first is regarding the, uh, the side panel, which could get um, animation where um, it could slide out instead of currently how it um, kind of jerks into focus. And currently it's a little bit glitchy and doesn't really feel native to the browser. So it kind of jerks into focus, as you can see. So when you open and close it, um, possibly with version 125, uh, it's, that kind of sliding will make the transition feel a lot less kind of jerky. So it'll kind of slide out from the side and um, it'll also make it feel a little bit more part of the browser. So um, sliding animation for the side panel is a possibility. And then there's also better protection um, for your mouse and keyboard where there um, could be additional controls in the site permissions panel, which will allow you to decide if websites can lock uh, the keyboard and pointer and scroll and zoom. So basically this is a protection possibly against hijacking. So for this, we're going to head over to Chrome Canary 126, which uh, is an early preview version. And if we head to our privacy and security, and we scroll down to site settings and yeah, we're looking for additional permissions. There is one of them available uh, in my Chrome Canary, uh, scrolling and zooming. So yeah, you'll be able to uh, basically decide if websites can lock the keyboard or point and scroll and zoom. So you'll be able to do that uh, from quite, uh, in, you know, the, this is quite an under the hood treatment. So you'll have to look quite a bit deep in the settings to be able to access that. And then the last one to mention for this video, and I'm just going to mention this, um, is that uh, version 125 could get more secure on Windows. And that's by putting the network service on Windows into a sandbox. And basically the network service was already in its own process before, uh, but um, with this, this sandboxing, it will be harder for third-party code and malicious code to be injected into the network service. So that's a nice little um, security improvement uh, if you are running Chrome on a Windows operating system. And that's more or less, guys, what I've got for you in this one. And that's some of the highlights that are currently taking place uh, in the beta channel in version 125. So as mentioned, not a comprehensive list, but those are some possible little tweaks and adjustments we could see roll out with the official release uh, next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.